Okay, my name is Lucky Phillips at Lucky's Auto Sales, Shippensburg, Pennsylvania. I want to show you the interior of the 1989 Champion Telstar RV. Let's take a look at the inside here. This is the interior. This is the screen door panel. You can see I can open it up here separate. There's no holes in the screen door. This is a sliding door. You open that door so you can reach the handle on the exterior door. magnetizes itself to the metal exterior door okay somebody did replace the carpet underneath of this is hardwood floor and blue carpeting somebody put down these carpet squares you can see the original color of the lower step here's this blue color there's a uh, power button down here got a fire extinguisher inside the RV is a natural oak color it's very nice hardwood interior there's a flat screen TV. Let me step up inside. Uh, driver's chair has armrest. Neither armrest is damaged. Neither one of them show wear on them. This would be a typical wear point for the RV. There's not any wear on that point. It has uh, automatic transmission with no overdrive. It just says one, two, and drive. Three speed transmission. It does have cruise control that works. It has a uh, down at the bottom here, somebody put a pressure gauge down there. And it has a button that says emergency start. I guess that hooks the batteries all up together so you don't have low battery power. It does have an air conditioning in the dash. It does not blow cold at this time. It has an aftermarket Pioneer stereo with a cassette player. There's 125,772 miles on the RV today. This is a remote controller. It has a nice oak grain uh, wooden console there. It's not all banged up. This is another wear point. This is a heavy wear point for an RV climbing in and out. And you can see it doesn't have any wear on it. There's no dirty handprints or anything on there. The armrests on this RV are very clean. These RV seats do swivel to the rear of the RV. This one, I couldn't get to swivel all the way around because I didn't have the seat back far enough. This one does turn completely around to the other side. You can see the original carpeting there on the floor. This dog box has a cover. It's up here in this cabinet. See how my camera adjusts itself. This is a curtain that has snaps on it, and it snaps around the exterior of this cabin here. So you can block yourself from outside traffic. You can't people can't see in and see once you snap that curtain on there. There's also a aluminum foil thing that you put in the front window to keep the heat out and also block the view from people looking in. Inside here there's a switch. When you push this down, that turns all the power off, meaning that if you even put the key in the ignition switch, you will have nothing. That totally shuts the power off there so you don't have any power drain like if you leave a light on in the bathroom or something. Uh, this, is the, this tells you how many watts each battery in the RV has. This is your generator and your hour meter reads 651 hours on the generator. There's a remote control here also for the TV. The other remote is for your stereo. I do have the TV on, although I don't have a DVD or anything in it. You can see it bouncing around there. It's a flat screen 19 inch that's been mounted to the cab door here. You can see it swivels a little bit, tilts. And if you open this up, there's just a bunch of cables in there that somebody has so they can run cables and have cable out to the campground site. This is another door inside here. It's just a big RV book and tells you all the campsites. This is from 2001. Again, it is a solid oak cabinet here. There's no photo laminate or anything. Uh, the roof in the RV is very clean. It's actually a type of vinyl that you could wipe down if you wanted to. You could wipe it down with some cleaner if it got dirty for any reason. It has uh, some decorative lighting up around the top edge, which I'm sure at night looks very good. You can see it kind of glowing on the roof there. This is the cover here that covers up this dog box down there. You take it and kind of snap it around the edges there. It's just, I guess that would keep, help keep some heat out as you're driving. I didn't notice any problem with it, but that's what it was manufactured for. This is your lights underneath to the coach here for 
shine it down on your dinette set. The dinette set cushions are unbelievably good condition. They don't show any wear at all. They're, and they're, they, when you feel them, you can feel they're high quality. They're not thin at all. On the back, there's a heavy, very heavy, almost like a commercial vinyl that you'd have when you go to a high, you know a nice restaurant or someplace that has nice vinyl on the tables and the chairs there. Underneath the here is a little bit of storage, carpeted storage area there. There's a little, uh, I call these movie theater lighting. It's like the little lights that light up the floor so you can see when you're walking. This is a fold down dinette set so you can have extra sleeping space. Again, there's a very nice condition. There's no wear on these pads. You got your seat belts in the back. You're supposed to sit on this seat when you're traveling forward for safety. This is your kitchen area. Somebody had something in here. There's like a sticky glue right there. I, I could get it off with some orange stuff that goo going, but I didn't do it yet here. There's a clock there, but it's not running at the time. It runs off of a little battery. This is your uh, rear sink for your bathroom. It's on the outside, but it is on the inside of the sliding door here. This is a bifold door, kind of like made out of a bamboo type material or something. Slides over and latches into this track and blocks the front from the rear off. I do have a photo of that in the photo section. The bed is a full bed. I believe it measures, I can't remember, but I did measure it. I believe it measures 74 inches long by 54 inches wide. There's a hardwood door that goes into the bathroom. And the bathroom is pretty nice. I'm pretty impressed with a vehicle this size. Usually have kind of a rinky dink little bathroom, but this has a 24 inch from this wall to this shelf, measure 24 inches by 24 inches deep and wide. There's a uh, light in the bathroom there, so when you're in the shower area, you have a light. This is a china toilet, just like you have at home. Made out of glass. Speakers all through the RV. This is your air conditioning system. Heat and cool. And this is for your furnace, for your uh, propane gas to heat your uh, RV. This is the air conditioning system. This is the heat. This is a real mattress. This is not an RV mattress. This thing is heavy. Can't even hardly pick it up. It probably weighs 80 pounds. So when you get on that thing, you'll feel comfortable. From a nice different angle here. Everything seems to be in really good condition. It is a 1989, so it's not going to be mint inside here. But it's in real good condition. Underneath of this carpeted floor is a hardwood floor. Somebody put some uh, carpet on top of there. I guess it's a little cozier for them to have carpeting, but if you take it up, you can refinish the floors, the original. This is your monitor system. Right now the refrigerator is on AC because I have it plugged into the house. It does work on all systems. And it is frozen inside there. There's no ice trays or anything, but it is cold inside there. Box of baking soda in there. There's a microwave here. The microwave when you open it has a broiler system on the inside so you can broil your food just like you're at home or you can use it as a microwave just to heat coffee and make popcorn wedgewood four burner stove this is the updated model generally these rvs have a two burner stove and it has a real ventilation system the fan looks like a home cabinets with lights on the inside of the cabinets this is a wardrobe closet also lighted inside cabinets this is where you hang your coats and things. These are the service manuals for the RV. There's too many of these to go through, but these are the original manuals. There's different types of receipts in here for when different things were done. I explain to you how the RV was manufactured in the process. 
I've found that these manuals could be very, very valuable if I wanted to sell them independently. You can make good money off manuals, but I hate to take them off the RV. Alpine stereo, but it don't have an Alpine. It's got a Pioneer stereo, so somebody must have replaced it. Overall condition is high. I think that it would make an excellent RV for a couple. Back up here so I can show you their ceiling again. It has vents in the ceiling, two vents in the ceiling, and they have a thermal cover over top of each one. I've never had an RV with those covers before, and I thought they were pretty nice when I saw them. Lift the cushions up. Just a piece of plywood there. Lift up those storage underneath of the cushions there. I say this is an A plus RV on the inside. It has little things. Like for example, if you look real close, there's a little chip section right here. Somebody touched up. So it's not mint, but it's very nice. An extra extra windshield wiper blade there. There's a dead bolt on the door there, so if you lock that, nobody's going to get in at night. Fire windows. It's just in good solid shape. You can tell that whoever had it for how many years they really took good care of it. It's been touched a little bit here and there with paint. And like I said, it's not mint, but it's very good condition. Okay, thank you.